से
Good evening and welcome to the first night of Simbangabi here at the Cathedral of St. Francis of Assisi. At this time, we ask that you please silence all your cell phones and other electronic devices. We are truly blessed and grateful tonight for the opportunity to celebrate this unique and long-treasured Filipino Catholic tradition of Simbangabi. In 1521, the Cross of Magellan landed on Philippine soil. Since then, Christianity has blossomed in our beloved Philippines. Our celebration of, Sim of Christmas is ushered in by our observance of a devotional nine-day series of Masses honoring the Blessed Virgin Mary in preparation for the nativity of her Son and our Savior, Jesus Christ. May the faith and devotion of Mary, the Mother of God and the Mother of us all, inspire us to receive in our hearts and in our homes God's unsurpassable gift, or aguinaldo, in the person of Jesus Christ. In the spirit of our continued response to the challenge of discipleship, as presented by our celebration of the quincentennial evangelization of the Philippines. We look forward to, to celebrating a church of communion, participation, and mission, a synodal church. This also becomes the theme of our Simbangabe this year. Our Advent journey leads us to joyfully welcome Jesus coming to us in the flesh, the first Christmas. Our, ce our celebrant for tonight is the Most Reverend Bishop James F. Chakio. There will be two collections. The first collection is for the cathedral. The second collection is for the ministerial activities of the Diocese of Metachin Filipino Apostolate. We ask that you please be as generous as your means allow. Please stand and join us in the prayer for the Synod on Synodality. We stand before you, Holy Spirit, as we gather in your name, with you alone to guide us. Make yourself at home in our hearts. Teach us the way we must go and how we are to pursue it. We are weak and sinful. Do not let us promote disorder. Do not let ignorance lead us down the wrong path, nor partiality influence our actions. Let us find in you our unity, so that we may journey together to eternal life and do not stray from the way of truth and what is right. All this we ask of you, who are at work in every place and time, and in the communion of, of the Father and the Son, forever and ever. Amen.
of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. Amen. Good evening and welcome everyone. I'm Father Christy, the rector of our cathedral, and it's so wonderful to be able to celebrate with Bishop Cecchio tonight and with all of you. You're so welcome here to our mother church, especially during our 40th uh, anniversary of a diocese. You are critical to who we are. So welcome and God bless. Thanks for the welcome, Father Christy. Certainly indeed, it's a great honor and privilege to gather with our great Filipino community again as you begin this great tradition. So thanks for being here. Let us begin as usual by pausing and calling to mind our sins, asking the Lord to pardon our offenses against him and one another so that we may worthily enter into this Eucharistic sacrifice.
uttering my just decree and my unalterable word. To me, every knee shall bend. By me, every tongue shall swear, saying only in the Lord and just deeds and power. Before him in shame shall come all who vent their anger against him. In the Lord shall be the vindication and the glory of all the de descendants of Israel. The word of the Lord.
sa buwan ang sinasalita. Sinasabi niya ang mga lingkod niya ay magiging payapa. Kung magagsisisi at di nababalik sa gawang masama. Ang nagpaparangal sa pangalan niya ay kanyang ililigtas. Sa ating lupain ay mananatili ang kanyang paglihinga. Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. At that time, John summoned two of his disciples and sent them to the Lord to ask, Are you the one who is to come, or should we look for another? When the men came to the Lord, they said, John the Baptist has sent us to you to ask, Are you the one who is to come, or should we look for another? At that time, Jesus cured many of their diseases, sufferings, and evil spirits, 
He also granted sight to many who were blind. And Jesus said to them in reply, Go and tell John what you have seen and heard. The blind regain their sight, the lame walk, lepers are cleansed, the deaf hear, the dead are raised, the poor have the good news proclaimed to them, and blessed is the one who takes no offense at me. The Gospel of the Lord. In our gospel this evening, the disciples of St. John come to Jesus and they seek clarification as to whether or not Jesus is the Messiah, the one who is to come. Jesus doesn't answer their question. Instead, he points to the works that he has done and asks them to interpret for themselves what those signs mean. We read throughout the scriptures where Jesus did, of course, heal the blind, made the lame walk, healed lepers, the deaf hear, raised the dead, and preached the good news to the poor. Some of the Old Testament passages specifically identify these works as the things God will do when he comes. These works of Jesus' answer and should lead the disciples to realize that indeed Jesus is the one who is to come, answering John's question. Just as for those disciples in our gospel, the Lord doesn't always answer all of our questions either, nor those of people throughout our world. We have to do the same thing that the disciples did. Look around and interpret the good works taking place as confirming the presence of God. To a person of faith, the witness of God's love and prov providence is abundantly clear. To a person who lacks faith, life is nothing but a chance or a coincidence. Either way, Jesus doesn't make a decision of faith for us. At best, he points our attention to the right way and asks us to make our own decision on faith, on belief in him. When we do so, our eyes are open to see the wonder of God's presence in ways that we could never have imagined possible. I'm so happy to be here with you this evening for this Mass and the start of your Simbangabi. As just as Jesus pointed people to the works of God so that they would believe, so this tradition of yours is a work of God that should help people to see and believe in God, to grow in faith. So I certainly want to thank you this evening for this wonderful witness that you give for our diocese and for our world that so needs it. It's wonderful preparation for Christmas too, and it helps us prepare for the birth of our Savior. As you make this novena over the next nine days, you make God, God's presence present. You keep Christ in Christmas, and you prepare yourself for Christ's coming anew into your life. Each day of this novena, we have the opportunity to pause within the hectic pace of these days, filled with so many good things that make Christmas so beautiful, but allows us time 
to listen to God's holy word and to enter into the mystery of his divine love through the Eucharist. Unfortunately, in our day, Christmas seems to be less and less celebrated as a religious holy day, so much so that happy holidays often replaces Christmas greetings in our secular world. This year we celebrate, as was mentioned earlier, the 500th anniversary of the Christian faith arriving in your homeland. And now your lovely traditions help us here in your new homeland to keep the faith alive. Your Christmas traditions are important and point to the works of God in our world. So they offer people the opportunity to come to faith, to come to belief in God. Your Christmas Chris customs, especially the practice of these nine days of masses before Christmas to honor the Blessed Mother, the devotional practices of placing the crib and making it a place of prayer in our home, as well as our Christmas songs, all make God present. And you keep alive our faith in the miracle that took place under the star, the miracle that brought the three kings from afar with gift to honor, gifts to honor the king of kings, the king of all nations. So I thank you for not forgetting that God, the God for whom we so long, is indeed with us, always. I thank you for reminding us of that by your customs. The God for whom we so long is present with us always. I thank you for your witness to the works of God in our world today so others can see them and come to believe. Advent sensitizes us to Jesus' coming 2,000 years ago and prepares us for his coming at the end of time. But it also helps us to see him coming to us right now, each day, in different and small miraculous ways. May we not just go through these last days of Advent, but allow it and allow Jesus to truly go through us. Don't just go through the motions of another Advent. Jesus Christ desires so much more. He desires to give us so much more. He desires to accompany us, to strengthen us, to be with us throughout whatever we're encountering, both the ups and the downs of our lives. Advent reminds us of that. So yes, truly, it's what God desires, his greatest desire, to be with us. Hence, he becomes man. Let us give him ourselves, huh? As we begin our Simbang, Simbang Gabi journey, let us entrust ourselves to the care of the Father and offer our prayers to him. For all members of the church, may the Holy Spirit continue to help us grow in holiness as we proclaim the good news. Let us pray to the Lord. For all 
elected officials. May God strengthen them in their efforts to work for common good and protect the most vulnerable. Let us pray to the Lord. For all affected by the tornado in Kentucky and seven other states, that those who died may find repose, those who survived may find comfort. Let us pray to the Lord. For all who are absent from the life of the church, may the Lord encourage them in their faith and deliver them from doubt. We pray to the Lord. For all who are sick and their caregivers, for those finding ways to end this pandemic and those in the front line maintaining peace and order, let us pray to the Lord. For this faith community, that as we continue to celebrate our 500 years of Christianity in the Philippines, may we be guided by the Holy Spirit in our efforts to build up the kingdom of God on earth. Let us pray to the Lord. For all who share their time, talent, and treasure to make this celebration of Simbangabi be meaningful and successful, let us pray to the Lord. For all who have died, may the Lord welcome them into his loving embrace. Let us pray to the Lord. Almighty and ever-loving God, receive these prayers and answer them according to your holy will. We ask this all through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Accept, O Lord, these offerings, and by your power change them into the sacrament of salvation, in which fulfilling the sacrifices of the fathers is offered the true Lamb, Jesus Christ, your Son, born of the ever-Virgin Mary in a way beyond all telling, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he assumed at his first coming the lowliness of human flesh, and so fulfilled the design you formed long ago, and opened for us the way to eternal salvation, that when he comes again in glory and majesty, and all is at last made manifest, we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which we now dare to hope. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the powers, the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory without end as we acclaim. Holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness, make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. Similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. History of Faith. As we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and James, our Bishop, and all the clergy.
Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, in all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them to the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, in all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer every time the sign of peace.
behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb.
Let's pray. May the mysteries we have received, O Lord our God, always show forth your mercy in us, that we who commemorate in faith the mother of your Son may be saved by his incarnation, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated for a while. First of all, I would like to thank you all for coming to our first night of our Simbangabi. And we are so very grateful to Bishop uh, James Chekyo for leading us in our worship tonight. And uh, thank you for your presence and for your message. <clears throat> we only regret that uh, after this, we will not have any salo salo. Uh, but we will, I think we will have some doggy bags <laughs> uh, to bring to our homes. And uh, so, Bishop, thank you very much for your support and uh, uh, encouragement uh, in our faith journey in the Philippine Apostolate here in the diocese. Thank you. I would like to thank, of course, uh, uh, Bear Reverend Father uh, Tim Christie, who is the Rector and Vicar General of the Diocese. He's very supportive of, uh, of the Filipinos, even in uh, St. Magdalene and here at, at St. Francis. So thank you. Also, if you would, uh, I would like to thank all the priests here present, all the deacons uh, uh, joining us for our first Simbangabi. And uh, I know they're very busy, but uh, it's always important that we come together to celebrate the Eucharist, especially uh, the nine days uh, before Christmas. If you would please uh, look at your music aid. At the front, there is this, we have three series of uh, Novena Masses. The first series is a series of Simbangabi, which starts today and uh, ends on December 23rd. There are nine churches, including St. Francis, of course, uh, in nine churches around the diocese where Simbangabi will be celebrated. The second series is the Misa di Gallio. We have two churches celebrating nine mornings of Novena Masses uh, called Misa di Gallio or Mass of the Rooster. One is at St. Ladislaus in uh, New Brunswick, and the other one is at St. Uh, Our Lady of Victories in uh, Seriville. Uh, mass starts at 5 a.m. So if you happen to wake up around 3 o'clock, you can drive and join us in either at uh, St. Ladislaus or, uh, or Our Lady of Victories. Uh, for our Simbangabi, the last day will be in uh, Somerville at Immaculate Conception. And uh, we, we hope that all of us will be there again and we can uh, tell our friends to join us. The more, the merrier. Our gratitude goes to all uh, the members of the SFCCFA for organizing and making our celebration tonight uh, uh, beautiful and meaningful. And of course, to our music, to our apostolate uh, festival choir headed by uh, Ms. Ida Gamboa and uh, Carlo Hermino, thank you so much.
Now, uh, if you would please look at the back of uh, the prayer for Synod. At the back, you will see the different uh, upcoming events after Christmas up until uh, after Holy Week. So if you would please uh, tell others, your friends, of the different activities of the apostolate so they too can join us in our uh, activities. Thank you. Um, as mentioned by Father Jerry, you are invited to, the, to join the conclusion of this year's Simbanga Bay journey on Thursday, December 23rd at the Immaculate Conception Church in Somerville at 7 p.m. The very Reverend Timothy Christie, Vicar General of the Diocese of Metuchen, will be the celebrant. Um, please follow the Simbangabi journey tomorrow as it moves to the Church of the Vis Visitation in New Brunswick. Mass starts at 7 p.m. And again, as mentioned by Father Jerry, we have the Missa de Gallia Masses tomorrow at 5 a.m. at St. Ladislaus Church in New Brunswick in Our Lady of Victories Church in Sayreville. Uh, please follow the DMFA um, on Facebook and subscribe to the Diocese of Mitachi Filipino Apostolate YouTube channel to receive notifications of upcoming live video events, like the conclusion of the quincentennial anniversary celebration of the evangelization of the Philippines on March 22, 2022, a symposium of leadership training with Father Ricky Manalo and others. Also, for the Simbangabi schedule and live streaming link, visit the Filipino Apostolate Facebook page. In lieu of our traditional sala sala or fellowship, please grab a brown bag on your way out of the cathedral. We hope to resume our traditional fellowship next year. Thank you for coming and have a good night. Um, I would like to ask the parole bearers to please line up in front of the altar. So are they ready? Again, word of thanks to all who made uh, tonight and do so much for the Filipino apostle all year long. Uh, Father Jerry mentioned some of them, but of course we thank Father Jerry himself for his uh, organizational work with the Apostle. He does a great job. You know, um, the Filipino community in our diocese is so important, so I always carry you in my heart and prayers. And I also, Father Roy is my secretary, so now I always have a Filipino with me too. Huh? <laughs> so I'm, I'm in good company, huh? And we're grateful for the doggy bags. Thank you, whoever came up with that idea, too. Even though we're not gathering downstairs, we are grateful for the doggy bag to take with us. So God bless you all. Merry Christmas a little early, huh? And we'll have the blessing of the peril. <clears throat> when Jesus was born, those who first adore him were shepherds. They were guided by the star. From the fields, they went to the baby born in the manger. And when his birth is revealed to the whole world, the Magi were led to Jesus by the star of Bethlehem, so they too could adore him. Bless these lanterns. May, they light the sh that, may the light that shines from the star that guided the shepherds to Jesus, born in the manger, illumine you in the ways of faith. With faith, hope, and courage, may you become light to the world, diffusing far and wide the love and mercy of God. Go, therefore, and continue to celebrate the message and lessons of Simba Gabi. Be agents of evangelization. Bring Christ into the world. Help light the fire of the gospel in the heart of the world. Though we are many, we are one body. With the gifts of the Holy Spirit, contribute and help in the building up of the church here in the Diocese of Metuchen and beyond. God bless you and keep you all in his love. Amen. Amen. Beautiful, huh? Thank you. And the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Humayo tayo ng mapayapa.